Hi viewers, welcome back to my tutorial for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your support. And please watch the ages, do not skip. Mm. And if this is your first time stopping by, kindly help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And please click on the notification bell. Just touch it, tap on it to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And after today's class, you shall be looking at how to make a very simple off-shoulder dress with three-layer sleeve. Okay? All right. So here I have my fabric and I folded into four equal parts because it won't be hard on a zipper. So that's why I folded into four without uh, leaving out any allowance for zip. Okay? All right. So our measurement will be starting from this folded edge. Okay. The length of the dress I'm working with is 42 inches plus 1 to give us 43. The 1 is for the folding of the hem parts, okay? Alright, so here I have my um, 43 inches minus 4 inches. I'm taking away 4 inches from it. You can take 5 depending on how you want it to be, but 4 inch is very perfect for me. So when I take 4 minus that 43 inches, I'll be having 39 inches, okay? So here I have my... 39 inch okay all right so for my elastic i'll be adding extra one and a half inch okay that we use to fold it to impute my elastic so here i'll just come up by one and a half okay all right okay so the next thing to do is to take our ample measurement so minus four, remember we're starting our minus four from this second line, okay? So the angle I'm working with is 22 inches, divide by two to give us 11. So here I'll mark my 11 inches, okay? So the half length I'm working with is 17 inches. So here I'll mark my 17 inches. The hip line from the waist is nine inch, okay? All right, so here I'll mark my nine inch just make a straight line here to connect it all. Okay. So here I'll be taking our bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 48 inches. Divide by 4 to give us 12 inch, okay? 12 inches. So here I mark my 12 inches. So because this is a free, a free dress, and remember that the elastic will help it to come together. So here I'll be adding extra 4 inches, okay? Now add extra 4 inch, and I'll add 1 inch for our seam allowance. Okay. So remember I said that this is a very free dress, so no need of imputing our waist measurement or our hip measurement. So the only thing I will do here is to just connect it straight, okay? All right, I will just connect this. I will connect it down to our hem line, okay? All right, you can just bring out your hand a little bit so that it will be freer at the down part, or you can also draw it very straight, okay, from the bust measurements. Okay, all right, so here I will just come in from those parts, I'll just come in like say four inches, okay. I'll come in four inches and I'll just connect it to my armhole measurement. I don't want to go in too much because of the elastic. Okay, so this three inches are okay. So here I will just connect it straight. Okay, then I'll just plant it this way to meet our okay. As you can see, this is a very, very easy and quick dread that should take much of our time. So I'll just go ahead now and cut this out.
So here I will just fold this like this. I'll just fold it like so. And I will impute my elastic. Okay. Alright. So here we just go ahead now and cut out our sleeve. Okay, looking at our picture, you will see the kind of sleeve that we are about to keep this our dress. Okay, all right. So out here, I'll be cutting a sleeve of um, eight inches, and the fringes at the down parts will complete the length to three quarter. Okay, all right. So here, I will take my, uh, I'll take my measurements. Okay, eight inch. All right. Okay. So here I'll just open up my my armhole this way. Okay, let me I'll be adding that one and how that I added for the sleeve, okay? So now this two three inches here is one, two, three, okay. Alright. So I won't be making use of this line. Okay. So here. So from here, I will take my eight inches, which is here. Okay. Then when I come up here, I will take my one and a half inch, which is here. Okay. This is exactly the thing that we, the same thing we did for the body of our dress. This one on half we just have as our folding. Okay. All right. So I'll just take those and place it here, just to get our same. Um, oh, okay. Okay, I'll just connect this to the eight inches. So I'll cut it out. Okay, some people will be will ask me what did I use for those points. You know, we are uh, attaching our elastic to it, so it doesn't matter. It depends on how big, how gorgeous you want the sleeve to be. Okay, so here I've just made use of um, um, 11 and a half inches. Okay, all right. So you can uh, increase yours if you so desire, but this one is okay for what I want to do. So I'll just cut this out. Okay, so I'll just use this and cut out the second sleeve. Okay, so I have my 
two sleeve. So here I'll bend this part. Okay, so the elastic. So our first fringe, I will attach the first fringe at those upper parts, okay? Because I'm going to be folding them together. Alright, so the first fringe will be at the upper part. Then the second fringe will be this part. And the last one will just be one inch before the down part of our sleeve. Okay, so we have one, two, and I will have the third one here. Okay, all right. So I'll just go ahead and take my, cut out my fringe, okay? Okay, so for the sleeve, the way I divided it to get what I want, okay? All right, so here I have my, um, I have the first one to be six inches, okay? I have the second one to be um, six inches, supposed to be five inch, but I added extra one inch for the folding at the upper part, okay? All right, so here I added the two inches plus extra one inch for the folding of the mouth altogether three inches so i added three three inches to it to get the second and the third layer all right so i have my five i have my seven and the nine inches just extra two two inches plus one inch for folding okay all right so initial was four six and eight okay then i add one one inch for my folding to give me five seven and nine okay all right so when you look at it you will see that it's not that lengthy so i'm going to cut out another piece to join it so that when i pleat it it will give me what i want okay all right so i'll just go to the machine now and do justice to that okay so in joining of those things is of two types is either i go ahead and join this to my i'll join the armhole to the dress but that is after i must have uh, uh, pleated thus my fabrics at the body of the dress okay then i will now attach it to the sleeve then fix my elastic round it once or i can decide to just fix my elastic at the body part then attach my fringes to the to the um, sleeve okay then fix my elastic then now join it to the body whichever way you decide is also perfect okay but i'm going to be attaching my own separately i will attach the one for my um body then attach the sleeve one separately okay all right and after that i will close up my down Part, and that will be all so i'll be come back to show you the result of our dress okay all right okay i just say let me i just started to try to come and um, show you guys how i fix the sleeve okay all right so here i've attached my first line the second line and the third line of the fringe okay all right, so when you look at this carefully, you will see that I pleated the second line and the third line, okay? But for this first line, I just sew it straight to the sleeve, okay? So what I will do now is just to fold it in, okay? I'll just fold it in with that my one and a half inch okay i just fold it in this way so when i attach my elastic it will come together i've done it for the second one okay okay so this is exactly what i mean as you can see when i attach my elastic it will make it to come together okay all right so by the end of the day, I will have something like this. Okay. So for the body, I've uh, joined the two bodies together. 
okay i have also closed up the down part from my armhole i come down by six inches from the armhole i come down by six inches and from that six inches i mark seven inch where i'll be attaching my pocket okay so because i just leave this place open because my pockets will be sitting inside here okay all right so what i will do now is to attach my elastic so i'll be attaching the elastic separately i'll attach here and i'll attach for the other side okay this clothes will be having back and front you can just interchange it because it's equal okay all right so after that i will then go ahead and uh, fix my elastic sorry my sleeve to the body okay just this way fix here then this one will go this way okay all right and that will be all so simple so easy and i would like you to try yours and show it to me on our facebook page at saloon fashion world thank you so much i'll show you guys the results